We will also be using Back4App command line interface, which makes really simple to deploy code to Back4App. I already have it configured, but uh, you can follow our tutorial on how to install it. It's really simple. Just Google for it. Back4App, CLI, and here we have on the first link our tutorial. It's just a one command for installation. Um, I'm using iTerm for macOS, but you can use any console that you want. You just copy this call and paste it. You ask for my password. Once it's done, you have to configure it with B4A, as in back for app, configure. And account key. Uh, I already have my configured, but you have to have set your own. Uh, this tutorial shows how to set your account key. And remember, if you ever need any support, our chat is here to help. So I'm not going to run this command right now. So I'm going to my desktop. And from here, I'm going to create my back for app folder uh, that will be integrated with my back for app application. So in order to do that, I'm going to type B4A new. It will ask me if it's a new application or existing one. I'm typing E because my application already exists on back for app. From the list, I will choose the number of my application. I only have one. It will ask me for a directory name where it will store all my code. I like to use the same name of the application. I think it's easier to remember that way. So B for a Pong. And then it will ask me if it's a blank project or if it's already existing one and there is code there. I'll just hit enter. It will bring all the code that is already in back for apps application. And le last but not least, it will give me some instructions on how to deploy my code back to back for app and how to test it. Uh, you probably want to write this down at some point so you can uh, test it by yourself. So if I go to before a pong, I have my cloud and public folder in there.